I would like to begin by saying thank you. Most of you that watch these review videos are subscribers and oftentimes long subscribers for a month, a year, two years plus. So seriously guys, thank you for everything. I love the support, I love the comments, I love everything that you guys bring to this channel. And today we do have a review. This will be for a company that is called Furry Hippie Beard Company, and this is one that I've been able to see through the creation process. The owner talked to me before he started the company, his vision, and as he was going through, which is really cool. And so I'm going to break down everything that I think you guys need to know today, from company information, the price, the sense where I bring in my awesome wife, Sam C., the feel and beard, what these products do for your beard, and then at the end, do I recommend them? Do I look to try these products again? So if you want to learn more, hang out. If you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up. Company little bit of information about the Furry Hippie Beard Company. Well, they are a new company out of Alabama. They're owned by a guy by the name of Jason, who is a member, I believe, of the Northern Alabama Bearded Villains, which if you don't know what that is, it's a group of bearded men that get together for social events, but particularly charitable events. So if you're in the Bearded Villains, show them some love down below. Maybe let them know what branch you are from. I believe we have two different ones in the state of Michigan here. Well, the name, it's a pretty interesting story behind the name. Name? They got the name because Jason's younger brother Chase used to call him a furry hippie because he had the long hair, he had the beard, and unfortunately and tragically his younger brother passed away due to a rare form of childhood brain cancer. So seriously, my... I, I'm not good with words in those situations. I'm just sorry for your loss, my friend. I really couldn't even understand or just grasp how that would feel. I am really sorry for your loss. But with this, he has taken this company to kind of honor his brother, but also with every proceed, with every product that is sold, they're going to donate a percent of the sales to a local foundation for childhood cancer research. So hopefully you guys out there can obviously empathize and understand with this and see the mission that this company is behind. Price. I like to rate every new company on a scale of a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating compared to the market average for similar companies. Now, this company has one ounce beard oils, and they have two different prices. Their natural, aka unscented, I believe goes for $15.99, and then their scented lineup goes for $16.99. Now, we do have a discount code. This is not affiliate, no commission, no kickback on sales, just savings for you guys. I'll throw it up over here, and that is DanC15 to save you guys 15%. So with that, it makes it even better, but even without it, they would be a solid $2 sign price rating market average for the small batch quality companies that we know and love. Okay. I about wrecked everything <laughs> setting up and getting ready here, but I think we are ready. Sam C. We got a company today called the Furry Hippie Beard Company. The furry Hippie. Yep. Furry Hippie. <laughs> That's uh, funny. You like the artwork and stuff there? Yeah. Yep. And they, I thought that you would like this. They got this brochure that has like some information, but it also has their scents and all the Smart. information there. So I thought that was really yeah. cool. Put that in an order and uh, it's just a piece of paper. Can't be too crazy. Little sample packs. We're going to go over some scents today from these guys. Uh, first is unscented or natural. It's what I have in beard today and I've worn the most of. I want to get your take on unscented okay. because I think unscented is becoming more and more popular and guys are, are wearing those more. And so you want to know if it's truly unscented. Is there some kind of smell to it? I'll give you my thoughts. It almost reminds me of hay. Okay. Is there like wheat germ oil? So let's go over the carriers real okay. quick. So the carriers are jojoba, argan, sweet almond, pumpkin seed. Pump okay, that mm -hmm. does have like that earthy. Yeah. So for flavor. me, it smells nutty. Like it gets that kind of natural nuttiness. So it's not a truly unscented and it's not labeled as unscented, it just says natural. So oh, that yeah. fits there. So if you're someone that likes that kind of nutty, natural smell, that's a good one for you. Yeah. If you're someone that's looking for no smell, no scent whatsoever, that's not for you. So there's different options out there. All right. We have five of them to smell today. We'll probably smell a balm too, to see if there's any difference. I haven't been, uh, mo a lot of companies just don't send me balms because they know I don't <laughs> like it, but if they do, I will try and 
see what it what it smells like, what it feels like, and all that. So first one is Wicked Grind. Wicked Grind. So you okay. go ahead and read, and they actually have the scent descriptions on the bottle, which I really enjoy. Oh, but this I wasn't is expecting this. Yeah, I, don't I know. know why Grind. <laughs> So this is uh, keep the mellow vibes of your favorite peppermint mocha oh. with a wicked grind beard oil. So peppermint mocha. Okay. First it was just coffee. And then I had to like smell deep and I got a little bit of mint, which is good because I guess you don't want it like overly yeah. in your face. Mocha. Peppermint yeah. mocha. I really enjoy this one. I'm not the biggest fan of coffee lately. But if I do like a coffee, I do like some mint in there. I like ones that's not like super loud or in your face. This is more mellow. And it almost gives me like a little bit of chocolatiness. Yeah, that's a mocha. Oh, is that what that is? Oh. You can tell he doesn't drink coffee. Okay. So, hey, at least I was right. <laughs> at least I was right. So, yeah, chocolatey coffee with some mint in there. But it's not like the mint syrup, like the the artificial smelling it's just okay. a really good solid mint so i i actually like that one for the pepper <laughs> or the peppermint i love peppermint world but for the coffee world so good final thoughts on that one i like it you like it yeah cool. i think that's a good fall scent yeah as we're entering yeah. fall perfect all right next one is groovy grove groovy grove obviously going with the theme here mm. Mm, that's a good sign so take a barefoot walk through a groovy grove with the psychedelic twist of orange and vanilla. Yep. Just straight it, up. It smells like creamsicle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me, okay, so there's common orange vanillas out there. I've never smelled one like this. I get much more on the like fresh orange side and it's almost like an orange peel. Smell that. Because oftentimes I do get creamsicle, but this one more to me is more fresh. I get creamsicle. Do you? Yeah. Okay. See, I get more on the fresh side there, but I love I love vanilla. Yeah, I love orange. It so great. really good profile for me. All right, next one: twigs and berries. Twigs and berries. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. All right, twigs and berries. Here, I think it's on the back. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay, wandering in a winter forest. You'll inhale the mind-expanding aroma of evergreen trees and wild berries. Yeah. Oh. First thing I got was berry. Okay. I really like that. I mm -hmm. love that, like, fresh berry scent. Yes. And then again, I had to inhale deeper, and then I got the evergreen. Okay. Which I don't really like evergreen, so I guess I can't say that I like this one, but I love that fresh berry smell. Yeah, and I have been loving pine evergreen that whole family more and more and more it kind of fits into that like invigorating almost mint type family that i like and this one is definitely lighter on that that side and it's more just the fresh berries but it's not tart it's not sweet it's more more berries how would you describe the berry scent fresh yeah. Yep. Is definitely. that what you said? Yes. Yeah. I'm fresh. Sorry, I was thinking about evergreens. <laughs> no, you're good. No, I. Yeah, I said it's not tart. It's not sweet. Okay. It's yeah. It's yeah, fresh berries. It's fresh berries. Because oftentimes I think of berries more in like that candy realm of berries, and yeah, you smell that like sweet or tartness. This is definitely that fresh walk through the woods, like they were talking about, which is cool. Mm -hmm. and we've had to warn our kids about berries recently oh my because gosh. we go camping all the time, of course, and we stayed at a campground that had blueberries. Apparently, yeah. South Haven, Michigan is known for blueberries. And we picked them and we're eating them. And we're like, oh, shoot. We went for a walk and there's like red berries <laughs> yeah. and orange and green berries. We're like, dude, you can't just be picking <laughs> berries and eating them. And we got to kind of go through the waters of uh, poison ivy and, and teach yeah. them not to grab every plant yeah. that's out in the woods. So... Yeah, and this weekend we are filming. This video will drop, and we will be uh, camping in Petoskey, mm -hmm. Michigan. So wish us luck. We're camping for or hunting for some Petoskey stones. Yep. If you don't know what that is, look it up. They're really cool. They're uh, Sam found out what they were. I didn't know what I knew what they looked like, which she did not. But then she looked into what they yeah. were. And what are they? So it's fossilized coral. Yeah, from the Great Lakes. Yeah, and it's beautiful so absolutely cool. beautiful if i remember i'll throw up a picture right here during the video so you guys can see what that petoskey <laughs> one looks like but this is our first weekend right now in a very long time not it's camping it's weird yeah it's very weird we went out to eat today Anxious. and i would have rather been camping like that yeah. was good it was cool mm -hmm. but i would have rather been out camping so <laughs> twigs and berries stay away from some kind of berries out there all right <laughs> hippie mojo hippie mojo is this one on the back nope all right here we go 
Tell me. Tell you? Okay. <laughs> I, I like to get your first thoughts. I like the, hmm, or oh. It's something I, that I don't know what okay. it is. I know what it is, but I can't. Then maybe it'll clear it up mm -hmm. for you. I'm the same way. Step into the world of tie-dye and microbuses with the scent of incense and yep. patchouli. Mm -hmm. So when you think of hippies, you think of, I think of patchouli incense. first and foremost, and then I think of incense, and then we think of like other stuff, but yeah, incense and patchouli. Traditionally, I do not like either of those scents. I have had patchouli done well like two times I've liked it. <laughs> Uh, this is not yeah. one of them it's for me. It's just straight up yeah. incense for when, me. If you go to the mall and they have those little yeah. center mm -hmm. uh, kiosk where they sell the incense sticks and yeah. you they sell them there, people love that. I know this is going to be for some of you if you like that straight up incense. We have a teacher at our work that smells like incense all the time and it's like patchouli. Okay. And I'm just not a fan of the, <laughs> the smell here. Uh, this one is the only one. I did not wear this one because... I just <sighs> couldn't get past it. I just can't get past it. I, I couldn't spend a full day with it. But again, truly, just personal preference on scent. We're just not a, a incense or yeah. patchouli fan. We've never lit incense in no. our house or no. have that kind of feel at all. But with the company, you almost <laughs> have to have a patchouli yeah. and incense oh, out, yeah. out there, of if course. If they didn't, it would be rude. Right, 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 <laughs> right. All right. And then the last one we have is old man's money. Old man's oh. money. So you got that old money. Okay, nothing says relaxing like in, all right, we'll see, I'm just seeing how far you, you got. Cigar. Like an old scotch whiskey with hints of bergamot, vanilla, and cedar wood to remind you of your old man's pad. I thought it was going to be like an old man's cologne. Okay. It's like an old grandpa. It just straight up smells like a grandpa? Yeah. All right. It, it's... Okay. okay, it smells like if your grandpa smokes, maybe he's like a little bit dirty, like he didn't take a shower, he's been working out in the yard, maybe he had a cigar out there sitting in the barn or yeah. something. Yeah, and for me it's lighter, it's lighter in bottle, it's lighter in beard, it was one of his faster fading ones. And that was probably a good thing. It's not my favorite out of here. It's probably my second least favorite with the last two being uh, my least favorite out of them. But I think she smelled it, or smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> she described it really well. Yeah, it just kind of smells like uh, a lighter bourbon kind of. Yeah, it smells like an, an old, old man. man. Yeah, yeah, so they killed it on those profiles, <laughs> which is huge because it's accurate and true yeah. there. So those two will kind of cancel out here. Yeah. Let's smell, let's get those three favorites out there. Okay. And then let's see uh, how they smelled. Let's go with Wicked Grind here yeah, for the butter and see if uh, if it's true to smell, stronger, weaker. All right. I get more peppermint mocha. Same, same. Less coffee. Same. Yeah, this one is more coffee and that one's more peppermint mocha. Okay, about the same strength level yeah. from, from what I remember yeah. there. Twigs and berries we also like. Yeah. Okay, so this one is much lighter for me in oh, butter. That's almost, that's the same, same flavor. Yeah, that one's really light. It smells light. a little bit different to me. Yep, so we do Maybe have some differences the with the butters. Coming out. Yeah, it's interesting how that works. We, yeah. I went out with the moderators last night and we were just talking about that, how certain carriers carry scents differently. Mm -hmm. And it's really true. And then the last one we liked was the, the hippie, oh no, not hippie mojo. The we grove. Liked, yeah, 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 groovy grove. Yeah. Okay, so let's see this one. Okay, so I get more orange on that. I get more of that orange peel. Sort yes. Of thing you were yeah, the zest, about. the yeah. zestiness yeah. in there, uh, and it's about the same strength for those. Yeah, so I agree. that's cool. It's got some different layers to it that we have in there. Awesome. Yeah. Final thoughts. If you had to pick one, if you're like somebody's out mm -hmm. there, like I want to try this company, but those all sound pretty good or really good. I just want one. Just let me have one, or you get a mm -hmm. sampler pack, of course. Yeah. But which one would you say, like, hey, I think for the ladies out there and their man, which one would you go? Ooh. Just pick one. Okay, it's between the orange and the wicked grind. Okay. Because I think orange would be better for most people. The coffee one is very, you gotta like coffee. Yeah, you gotta true. like that smell. True. Orange is pretty all around. I'm gonna go with twigs and berries because oh. I think it's the most unique one. I haven't smelled it anything. Is unique, yeah, yeah, I haven't smelled anything like that out there before, and it's really enjoyable. So I would say if you're gonna take a shot on a company, try something that's uh, pretty unique and new. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you, my beautiful wife. Welcome. Oh, by the way, we might be starting a new channel <laughs> really soon you here. Scared me. Yes, yes, we might be starting a new channel. So stay tuned for that. It is going to involve camping. 
camping. So <laughs> we'll get information out for you guys. If anybody stood, maybe they like fast forwarded through the next like, part. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right. Bye for real. Feel in beard. How do these products make my beard feel? How does it look in style? What are the ingredients like? For me personally, and this is not everybody, but for me personally, this is the most important. I was recently testing some testers from a company on a new line of theirs, and I just had to be honest. I was like, it does not feel good. My beard does not feel great after a couple hours, and gave that feedback. So for me, that's everything. If my beard does not feel good, all that other stuff does not matter. So we're going to take a look at the oil and then the butter here in just a second. So the oil, we went over the carriers with Sam, but real quick, uh, jojoba, argan, sweet almond, and pumpkin seeds. So nothing exotic, nothing crazy. Easy, nothing like revolutionary out there but if you can find the right ratios and something's not broken why fix it right pumpkin seed would be the only one that's kind of out of the ordinary and I'll cover that pretty soon in a carrier oils 101 video uh, but let me show you this one I've been wearing a lot of the natural I've gone through probably half of this bottle here and I'll show you guys what the color looks like Right, so we do have a little bit of a, that off-tone color there. It is a straight up medium viscosity oil. It is not light. It is not thick. It is straight up medium. I would say that it is very close to your natural sebum level when it comes to viscosity here. And the feel and beard is good. It is very, very good. It's not crazy. It's not unique, but it's not bad. And with a beard oil, I know my beard's... And with a beard oil, that is good. That is solid. That's what I'm looking for. My beard's going to look good. My beard's going to feel good. But if you're looking to try something new, you're looking to try something that is different from your collection out there, this might not be it, but also that may not be a bad thing. If you know it works, if you know those carriers, this could be a good one for you guys to try out. Now let's go over the butter. This is where it really stood out to me. And I've, again, really been wearing this and enjoying this one here. Let me go over the ingredients on this one. All right, we have shea butter, which is my favorite, but we also have mango butter, hemp seed, uh, hemp seed butter, which is a, it's an ingredient that is created, it takes hemp seed oils and butters and it's put together, and ellipi nut butters, I think I'm saying that correct, I know I had looked that up previously, but you guys know already, local bee wa beeswax, and then they have their carrier oils in there. So we got some really cool butters that we don't often see, now let me show you what their butter looks like here. Comes in the normal kind of balm looking container. Very soft, very light. It's a tad on the, what we would say is kind of like the, I don't want to say greasy side because that gives such a bad uh, kind of connotation with it here. But it just, it breaks down immediately, has no hold really. It's all about the styling here. Or not about the styling. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at myself styling. It is all about the nourishment and it does a great job. My beard in the morning Feels like normal, right? A lot of people think that when you wear a beard butter and you wake up, your beard should just poof, feel amazing. Well, no, you haven't done anything. You've been sleeping on your beard. You haven't been drinking water for six to eight hours, however long you've been asleep. Your beard's not going to just pop and be amazing in the morning. But the true test is when you get in the shower, when you rinse your beard, what does it feel like? When I rinse my beard out after this butter, it feels wonderful. I know that I'm gonna have a good styling day that next morning because I treated it properly the night before. So feel and beard, solid, really good. And I hope that's taken in the right context. I think some people are gonna be like, oh, he didn't rave, he didn't go crazy about it. No, I think sometimes those extremes really polarize. Some people hate it, some people love it. But oftentimes those ones that are in the middle that are really good, tried, true, and tested, it's going to appeal to a broader market. So if you're looking for a traditional beard oil with quality ingredients that's mixed really well, this is a good option for you. If you're looking for a butter that's going to nourish your beard, not give you a ton of hold, but also really carry those scents in a new and interesting way, that's another one to check out. Rebuy. Would I look to acquire any of these products again? Recommend them to you guys or try anything new from them in the future? Okay, let's break it down. Let's check here first. Great cause, giving back to charity. Check. Local, small batch, really passionate owner, great customer service. Check. Some scents that I like, really good feel and beard, styles well. Check, check, check. Yes, there's nothing in here that I would be worried about recommending. If this sounds like carriers that you enjoy, if it sounds like a scent that would be interesting to you, and you like that small batch new company that's giving back to the community, 
absolutely give these guys a look. They have my full backing and I'm here to help and answer any questions that you guys may have. I know the owner will be down in the comments responding to you guys as well. So hopefully you guys got something out of this video. If you have questions and I said, drop it down below, we would love to help out. My name guys, Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded and stay positive. Thank <laughs> you.